Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to give you my review of the Bare Minerals Bare Pro 24 hour performance wear liquid foundation. It has a long title, but I picked this up during the Sephora VIB sale and I chose it because I've never tried anything from Bare Minerals before. I've always wanted to because I've heard really good things about the line. And then the second reason is because it has some really good claims and it made me excited so I wanted to give it a shot. So this says that it's a 24 hour full coverage foundation. It's supposed to have a natural matte finish, good for skin formula, and it even says down here it's makeup so pure you can sleep in it. I never sleep in my makeup but if I were going to, I would want to test out this foundation and it's supposed to be transfer resistant flashback proof it also has an SPF of 20 which by the way is a mineral SPF not a chemical SPF and it's oil free which for me is a bonus because anytime that I can I try to choose an oil free foundation so there's 34 different shades to choose from I chose mine in the shade sandalwood it's number 15 and this retails for $45 Canadian $34 if you're in the US so let's give it a try I'm gonna make my life easier and keep my hair out of my face with this humongous headband which I'm really not sure how I feel about it just yet because it's huge it's super wide it kind of looks like I'm wearing a crown which is actually more reason to wear it so we're gonna leave it on because I actually do kind of like it at the same time I just moisturize my skin so I'm prepped and ready to go and I've done a pump of the foundation which by the way it does come with a pump we love that and now I'm gonna use a brush and apply it to this side of my face. So spoiler alert, I have actually tried this foundation out a few times but never on camera to actually see how it looks on a screen and be really picky about it. So that's what we're gonna do today. And also, I've been wearing this as more of a lightweight, natural coverage and I've been loving it on my skin that way just because I think it looks really beautiful and I've been trying to just kind of enhance more of that natural look, not fully covering up the skin, letting my freckles peek through. And so far this foundation has done just that for me. But it does claim to be a full coverage foundation. So I'm gonna push it to as far as I can today, or at least try to build up the coverage a little bit more to show you what it can do. One layer of it evened me out really nicely. I'm gonna try and build up a little bit more coverage on the cheeks, the chin, because that's where I have the most to cover. I have freckles on my cheeks. And I'm really curious how many of you are scared by the color right now, because I know when you're first applying it, it does look light, but I promise you after a few minutes, about two minutes, it dries down and it gets much darker. So that did add a little bit more coverage but I would say I'm still seeing more of a natural medium and this is also my first time using a brush with this normally I use a beauty blender and I actually think I prefer the beauty blender better because I'm seeing some brush strokes and it just doesn't look as flawless as it normally does so I'm just gonna use my damp beauty blender to blend it out a little bit while it's still wet enough that I can move it one thing I didn't realize until doing it on camera and talking to you guys at the same time is how fast it is starting to dry down. Like it's already set in place and now that makes me think about another thing I read is that this is supposed to be self-setting and it makes so much sense because I actually have not been using a lot of powder at the end. So crazy. I'm liking how that looks. So I'm gonna switch over to this side of my face. Act quick and use the beauty blender right away this time. And just a few more details from the website that stuck out to me. It really puts emphasis on this being a long wearing and transfer proof foundation. And it's also supposed to blur pores and imperfections and give you a smooth, soft focus finish. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna say I like the sponge much better for application because I got a much more even face. All right, I zoomed you guys in real close so you can get a really good look at what this looks like on the skin. So the biggest reason why I'm really all about this foundation is because it keeps my skin 
looking like skin. It covered me up where it was needed, evened me out, got rid of the redness, but you can still see skin, like right here. I got some blemishes coming through, but again, that's real life. And sometimes the more you do, the more obvious it is that you're trying to cover something. And I just think that the skin, even though I have really good coverage, it doesn't look too made up, doesn't look too heavy, doesn't look cakey, it actually looks really hydrated. And I think that's the biggest reason why it doesn't draw any attention or added attention to pores up here on the forehead or like on the cheeks. Now one question I do have right now is because I'm like over analyzing it on camera and I'm looking at my screen, does it look blotchy to you or patchy? I never really notice that in like my bathroom mirror when I'm just doing my everyday makeup, but sometimes on the camera I kind of see it look a little bit blotchy or like I miss certain areas, but I don't know if that's just me being crazy or if you guys see it too. If that's the case, I probably just have to work on smaller areas on my face at a time. But anyways, that's my skin. I'm gonna do a little bit of my under eye concealer and then I'll be back to set this face. Hello? Hello, hi, my name is Jerry, I'm with FedEx. Worst timing ever to apply concealer, ha! Ah! All right, now I'm gonna use some of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, and I'm gonna mostly put this underneath the eyes to stop the creasing from the concealer. And then, I guess just a touch around the rest of the face, cause who knew this was self-setting and I don't actually need a lot at all. And just to give you guys a quick time check, it's 1.33 in the afternoon. I have my Christmas jazz on in the background when I'm not actually recording. So I'm gonna do a little bit more makeup because I do have to go out tonight. And then I'll come back and show you the finished look. How good is this lip? I just tried out the Honest Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Goddess, and this shade is amazing. I haven't worn anything this bold in a really long time, and I really like it. All right, my makeup's done. I feel really good about everything. Whenever I finish my face when I'm using this foundation, I just always feel so flawless, even though you can still see skin, which is kind of different than the way that I used to wear it. I always used to be a more of a full coverage girl, even though this is pretty full coverage now that I look at it, but it still looks really natural. You can see skin, you can see freckles, you can see imperfections, but it still looks like my skin. And also, pretty good color match, right? I was worried at the beginning too. Now, just to quickly touch on these claims before I forget, full coverage, I would say it's more of a medium. Natural matte finish, I, I kind of see more of a radiant finish, to be honest, on my skin. Transfer resistant, um, I guess there's no way to test that really, but I can tell you right now, it feels like it's stuck on my skin. It's not going anywhere, and you can just feel because of the texture, the way that it dried down on its own, we're good to go. All right, guys, it's 11. 32. I am expired. I am ready to go to bed, but luckily I'm gonna say that my makeup is not. I'm looking pretty dang good and I am so impressed that my face has not seen powder since I said it with you guys. Didn't touch up and can we just talk about how I'm not super greasy. I have a little bit of oils that have started to come through right here on the nose, but like my cheek, my forehead, my chin surprisingly looks pretty good. It kind of started to break up a little bit. I have a little bit of red lipstick on my chin also from eating. The um, the liquid lipstick, li <laughs> liquid lipstick is still on my lips. It's just looking a little bit chapped because it's a liquid lipstick. But I gotta say that color held up pretty well too. Little bit of cakiness on the tip of my nose. But other than that, I'm gonna say this foundation for me and my skin type is a win and I'm so excited about it. The color still looks good. If you have combination or oily skin, I would definitely recommend trying this foundation out. If you have dry skin, I would say that the fast setting aspect of it might steer you wrong. I have a feeling you might not like that. And then also if you want more of a full coverage foundation, I think it's, I still think it's more of a medium, and 
that's it you guys i hope this video was helpful if it was give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let me know what foundation you want to see me talk about next and i will see you all in next week's video